Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love. Blessings, dear friends, and welcome to this segment of Embrace. In the last episode, we talked about parenting children. We defined what parenting is. We based on Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, which says, Train up a child in the way they should go, and when they are older, they will not depart from it. We defined parenting as training the whole body, training the heart of a child, or training the head of a child, and training the hands of a child. If you missed that episode, please, you can watch episodes on this very channel. Today, we'll continue by defining who a parent is. Having defined parenting, let's look at a parent, the person whom God gave responsibility to parent. And I'll use an acronym, parent. A parent is someone who is prepared to adequately raise, educate, nurture, and teach or train their children. I repeat this, a parent is someone who is prepared, P, to adequately, A, raise, R, educate, E, nurture, and teach or train their children. We'll take the train because it was in our previous definition. So a parent, somebody who is prepared, you need to prepare emotionally, spiritually, financially, socially, you need to prepare. Most of these is taught in our churches. Prepare. Don't just bump. Wait until you are ready. Prepare psychologically. Prepare financially. Prepare. If you're young and you're not ready to have children, please wait. Don't rush, because children are responsibility. You're supposed to train the whole body. So prepare to parent. And you prepare to parent adequately. You don't give half-baked. A is for adequately. You don't give half-baked stuff. You don't give because you are angry. You don't be give because you got pregnant. You don't give half-baked things because you just got pre someone pregnant and you haven't left you or because they abandoned the child for you. No, you need to adequately parent this child. You need to have most, at least 60% of the parenting tools. So please prepare to adequately give this child what they need for the rest of their lives. You need to raise this child. Raise them from where they are to where they should be, not what you think. God has a plan for every child. And God wants his children to grow, to be what he wants them to be. So you are raising them. Just like the way you weed plants, God has a plan for them. Raise them to where he wants them to be. Educate them, both formally and informally. Educate the children. Educate them. Give them knowledge. Give them information. Don't lie to them. Don't beat around the bush according to their age levels. Educate them. Nurture them. Nurture is preparation. Nurture is handling them. Nurture is protecting them. Nurture is supervising them. You are nurturing them. You're bringing them up. And then teach them. Train them. Don't, don't tell them what to do. Show them what to do. Training and teaching is not telling them. It's showing them. You show them how to sweep the compound. You show them how to wash plates. You show them how to speak. Show them how to sit. You show them where to go and where not to go. So a parent is somebody who is prepared to adequately raise, educate, nurture, and train their children. If you're falling short of this definition, you need to rethink your parenting strategy. You need to go back to these basics because training a child involves the heart, the head, and the hands. That is the full definition of training a child. This is a parent. Till next time, we meet again. May the Lord take good care 
of you. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Share as much as you can with other people who need this information. God bless you. Ciao.